Now in question 1a, we're asked to find the height and the width of the histogram bar on the left. So I'm going to call the width x and the height I'm going to call y. Now, if we look at this bar on the right, first of all, let's work out what the area of it should be. Now, 8 times 1.5, so we've got 8 times 1.5 is going to give us 12 centimetres squared for that area. And if you look in the question, it's got a frequency of 8. And the frequency is related to the area of a histogram. So we've got that 8 units is equal to 12 centimetre squared from this bar on the right. Now let's look at the bar on the left, the one with the y and the x on it. It's got a frequency of 12. So what we need to do is put the frequency under our 8 here. Now, what have we done to this 8 here to make it into 12? Well, we've multiplied that by 1.5. So we need to do the same thing with this frequency of 12 from the one on the left to get its area. So 12 times 1.5, the area of the histogram on the left should be 18 centimetres squared. So let's try and find out the x and the y. Now, if you look here on the one on the right, it's 1.5 centimetres real size, but the number of units that represents is three units. Here we're going from zero to five, so it's five units. Now you might spot a relationship from going to that three to the 1.5, we're dividing by two. So we need to do the same thing on the left hand side. So the width of the one on the left hand side, five divided by two, is going to be 2.5 centimetres. So that's the first of our answers that we need. Our width x is going to be 2.5 centimetres. The last bit's to find the area and we've got the area is 18 so we know that y times our width 2.5 is going to be our 18 centimetres squared. So our height then is going to be 18 divided by 2.5. So our height, so we'll just write this down, 18 divided by 2.5 comes to 7.2 centimetres. And that's part one done.